Guy. Headline from Honolulu Civil Beat today is harrowing eyewitness accounts cast doubt on official Lahaina fire narrative. Chad Blair is here to dig a little bit deeper on this. So, so Chad, let's start with what you've heard from these eyewitnesses, the people that escaped. What, what are they saying? Well, harrowing is right. Terrifying might be another word for it. Civil Beat has had people on the ground since the fire. They are still there today, my colleagues. And this report is from Marcel Honoré. And the people that he talked to on the ground in Lahaina, they paint a different picture from what we're hearing from authorities about how people tried to get out that day. I'll just give a couple of examples. Okay. There's one woman and her boyfriend and her brother. They're in a car. They're trying to get out of town, but the authorities instead direct them down these narrow roads and they are stuck. One person said it's like being a rat in a maze. Another woman and her three children trying to get out as well. What should have took 20 minutes to get out of town took two and a half hours. And then the one that gets me the most is the person who tells Marcel they're sitting in their car, they're looking at their rear view mirror, and they can see the fire coming closer. They can see the smoke coming closer. They can even feel the heat. And most frightening of all, there's cars behind them. And who knows what happened to those people, whether, they're, whether they got out or not. These are people on the record. These are eyewitness accounts. Yeah, in fact, one of the eyewitnesses said that they only survived because they did the opposite of what they were told to do. And, <laughs> and they told the uh, police, hey, if you direct people in that direction, you're, you're going to lead them straight to the fire. Um, I, I guess one of the big inconsistencies here is, here is why police were blocking the road in the first place. And Hiko said that they had de-energized the lines. Do you think there was just a lack of communication or, or, or what was going on there? I think miscommunication or a lack of communication has definitely been one of the stories that have come out of the Lahaina fires. And here's the biggest thing of all. We still don't know the official count from Maui authorities about what happened that day. A lot of people, including Civil Beat, including Hawaii News Now, yeah. have been asking lots of questions. There's tremendous public interest. What happened? Who made that decision and why? Did you know the power lines had already been de-energized six hours yes. before that fire came through? But Maui County has yet to tell us when what exactly happened or even tell us when they're going to release that report. OK, how about this then? The, uh, uh, Chief Pelletier has come out and said, um, we're going to do something else later. How, how likely is that? to come at all or, or how long could that take? It's been six weeks. People yeah. still have questions. You know, you go to social media and you see a video and sometimes that tells you more about the real story yeah. than anything else. I think Marcel's story underscores that absolute need for the public to hear from officials about what happened. I realize it takes time to put a report together, but we're hearing from people right there saying here's what happened and it seems to contradict the official report so far. And you're going to keep pushing? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Will we. All right, Chad, thank you. Thanks. Appreciate Steve. it. Uh, by by the way, you can read the full story at civilbeat.org. You can also text 66866 for their newsletter. Great read. We'll be right back.